Hi, this is Kendra from Redgate, and I'm going to show you how with Flyway, you can mark migrations as applied without actually running them. So I've got a dev environment here that is an empty database, and it's perfectly safe for me to run Flyway clean against it and drop everything in that database. I've got some migrations set up, and if I run Flyway Migrate, you can see that these migrations have print statements in them to show you that they are doing things as they run. I just have four migrations in there. So when I actually run Flyway Migrate for real and execute these, this is what it looks like. I'm now gonna run Flyway Clean to clear out that development database. And then if, let's say there was this scenario where some of these migration scripts, I didn't actually want to run them. I wanted to mark them as run because they had been run against the database outside of Flyway. Maybe this had been done in an urgent situation where something needed to happen as quickly as possible and someone needed to just open that script and run it outside of my automated pipeline or Flyway process, right? In that case, I can say Flyway skip executing migrations equals true and run migrate on that. This tells Flyway, don't actually run those migrations. Just act like you've applied them. Notice that because I was in this case still starting with an empty database, Flyway did still create the schema history table so that it can track the migrations that were run but it didn't actually run those migrations. It did, however, mark them as applied. If I run Flyway Info now, you'll see that I have the state of success on these migrations. Now you might say, okay, well that's useful, but you did that with all your migrations. I probably only want to do that with one. Maybe I wanna do that with a specific migration. Well, let's take a specific example. We can do this with migrate and we can do this with undo. Let's say that this version 002 script, notice that this one does have an undo available for it. This is undoable. Let's say we wanna go ahead and do that undo with Flyway, but it, it we wanna simulate that the undo script was run outside of the automated process. It actually has been run on the database. It's just that Flyway doesn't know about it because it had to be run in an emergency. So we just need to tell Flyway, hey, this was run. Just act like this was run. We can do this with a combination of the skip executing migrations command and the cherry pick command. So we're saying, don't actually run this, just pretend you ran it. Do this for version 002, and we it's the undo script that you're doing, because we could do this with either migrate or with undo. Similarly to what we did before, this is just Flyway saying, okay, I am acting as if this has been executed. Now, when I run Flyway info, we see in the table here that the undo script for 002 was run out of order. That's because we ran it with cherry pick. And the version 002 script above its state is now undone. This is a quick demo of how skip executing migrations can let you mark migrations or undo scripts as applied in Flyway.